10 Questions with Holly DeZimone, RN, BSN, Wound Care Certified Nurse. Holly, can I use a black foam in undermined areas? It's not recommended to use black foam in these undermined areas or in tunnels. The white hydrophilic foam was developed to be used in these areas due to it ensures moisture, it has an increased tensile strength, and it is gentler. Um, it may be able to prevent ingrowth of the tissue into the foam as well. Um, you have that newly formed granulation tissue that you don't want to disturb. It also helps prevent particles of the foam being left behind in the wound. Second question, Holly. Do I need to moisten, do I need to moisten the foam? This depends on if the white foam is pre-moistened or not. If it is not pre-moistened, then you should pre-moisten it with either a sterile saline solution or, in some cases, sterile water. Third question. What comes included in the kits? Most negative pressure kits come with medical grade foam, a transparent drape, a dome with tubing, and something that will connect to the canister, the tubing that will connect to the paint canister on the um, negative pressure pump. Fourth question. Will I need any additional supplies for the NPWT dressing change? Yes, you will. The basics would be to collect um, sterile or very clean scissors. Um, I would usually clean these with alcohol if they are not sterile. Skin protectant, some gauze for drying the peri wound, a measuring device, sticker or tape to date and time the dressing change. Um, you may also want to bring in um, quite a bit of sterile um, saline solution for irrigation, and most of all, a flashlight so that you can get in there and see things. Fifth question. There is a black ash car in, my, in the wound. Can I still use NPWT? No, it is contraindicated to use negative pressure with ash car present in the wound. Why do I need to irrigate if the NPWT system is pulling out the exudate? Irrigation is very important to help remove any particles or debris that got left behind, such as maybe even some small pieces of foam. It also enhances the removal of bacteria that's in the wound. Can you treat two wounds in one kit? Yes, you can. You can actually use a technique called bridging two wounds together. What does protect the pair wound mean? The peri wound is the area of surrounding skin around the wound edges, and it is very important to protect these areas so they don't begin to break down or to be, the wound will actually become bigger. How do I use the white foam? The white foam is similar to using the black foam. You cut it to fit the area. I think it's important to remember to leave a long tail or something that will be able to come out of the areas of tunnels or undermine so it's easy to grab. But basically, you just want to make sure nothing is going to be, get lost and everything's easy to remove. Last question. I notice a foul odor from the room. Does that mean it's infected? Foul odors during dressing change does not always indicate that there is an infection. The foam um, actually can have an odor of its own, especially after 72 hours of being in a nice warm environment. So what you need to do is you need to remove the dressing, you need to bag it, you need to tie it up so the odor is not coming out from the old dressing, even throw it away in the garbage can, irrigate that wound out, and then see if the foul odor is still present. If it is, then of course you'll be putting that information together with other factors present and reporting to the physician for further orders. Um, you really should be aware, of course, of all signs and symptoms of infection. Well, that pretty much concluded our 10 questions with Hala DeSimone. Thank you so much, Hala DeSimone. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me.